Warmer weather brings a lot of creepy crawlers out of hiding, including the infamous brown recluse spider. Missouri has one of the highest populations of brown recluse spiders in the country. Often a suspicious mark on the arm or leg is blamed on a spider bite. But doctors say in many cases it turns out to be something else. Spider bites are hard to identify. Dermatologist William Stecker says conditions such as Lyme disease, bacterial infections, and even skin cancer can look like spider bites. So proper diagnosis is key. We don't want to be treating things that need treatment, that like infections or cancer, in the wrong way. We've got to find those things that people think are spider bites and, and get the right diagnosis. The dermatologist turned to a University of Missouri animal scientist for help. A common test for pregnancy in cattle is being modified to detect spider venom in humans. <coughs> Proteins in the blood of pregnant cattle can be measured with methods that can also be used to detect venom from a brown recluse spider bite. Associate Professor Jonathan Green never thought his cattle research could be so beneficial to dermatologists. It isn't a typical animal science project. What is particularly fascinating is the ability to take our standard techniques for detecting uh, circulating proteins in, uh, in pregnant cattle and then being able to apply those techniques to, uh, to measure very small amounts of venom in uh, clinical swab samples. The goal is to create a test that can be used in an emergency room setting or in a dermatology so clinic. A Researchers swab the infected area. The sample is then added to an ELISA test that can detect venom. More yellow color we see indicates that there was more venom in that sample. We continue to work on this test and so we continue to try to optimize it. And so one of the things that we want to be able to do is to lower the threshold of, de of detection somewhat and we also want to be able to shorten the time of the test. The next step is to get results of the spider bite test in under an hour. From the University of Missouri, I'm Kent Faddis reporting.